Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I am excited. I think I say that every week. I'm really excited about this week's projects. They feature the Turtle Friends bundle, which I have gotten many requests for. And I also pulled in some of the designer series paper that is on sale this month so that I could show you some of my favorites. I was able to combine two into one. All right, good, it looks like I see you guys. Maybe I'm in the right place. Let's see if I can get it pulled up on my iPad. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there we are. All right, hi, Kathy from Maine. Lisa and Darcy, nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining today. All right, so I hope you guys are having a good week. We have had rain on top of rain on top of rain, which I love because around here we don't get rain very often. And today I was taking my daughter somewhere and it was 75 degrees at noon, which is like crazy. Usually it's already like 95. So I will take it. I know some people are sick of the rain, but not me. I love the rain. So it's been a good week here. We've kind of done nothing. The kids have been just kind of laying around, <laughs> which is what you do during the rainy times, right? Um, and I have gotten some pretty good work done, although, you know, so many appoint appointments in the summer, here and there and here and there. I feel like it's worse in the summer than in the school year. I guess we just try to get them all out of the way. All right, I'm going to get started because I have a lot to, to show you today. Um, first, I'm going to, let's see, the What's Cooking class. This class, the deadline is one week from today. The only problem, though, is that this is, we will not have a Facebook Live next Friday. I will be out of town. So this is the last Facebook Friday where I will remind you about the What's Cooking class to go. It um, is six projects, three cards, three 3D. You can get it with or without the bundle. It includes a pack of paper. And what else? I can't even remember. Some black dots, I think. Yes been a long time um so by friday next friday the last day and this class is big so i probably won't have any extras sometimes i have extras but this time i probably won't so if you want to register for this class please message me um there's a link on the bottom of today's blog that will take you to the page that explains everything but to get the registration link you do have to email me okay there is that next um, yesterday, no, what's today, the ninth day before yesterday was the cutoff for July Club Create. So if you're a subscriber, I have already been working. If you could see down here, I have cut a ton of paper. We have a record number this time. And I'm very excited because this month you're all getting a little present from me. But that Club Create deadline has passed. However, if you want in on August's Club Create, that window is now open. And I've given you guys a sneak peek of August's Club Create already. It's Christmas. Christmas in August. It features the Tidings and Trimmings stamp set. And we will be making all Christmas cards. All right. And they feature, let's see if I can get them all fanned out here. They feature brand new designer series paper from the upcoming holiday catalog. So if you are ready to get a jump start on your Christmas cards, make sure you subscribe to Club Create. Club Create is a subscription program. It's $39 a month. It includes about $20 in product and five make and takes, a PDF and a video and shipping. All of that for $39. Um, you will have the option to add on the bundle and a couple other things like an embossing folder that we use. Um, and when you add on to your Club Create kit, I give you free shipping and free tax on that. Um, if you don't, if you're worried about a subscription, this is an easy subscription. You can cancel it anytime. Um, it'll charge you every month on the day that you sign up. So if you signed up on the 8th, it's going to charge you August 8th, September 8th, October 8th, right? You get it? So you'll know when to cancel it when you're ready to cancel, which I hope you won't because if you stay for six months, then I give you $25 in product credit. It's a pretty good deal. So if you're interested in Club Create, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. You can tap that and it will take you to the info page. The PDF, if you're one of my PDF only people and you only want the PDF, it's ready. It's up, it's loaded, and you can find it over there. The PDF does include the video as well. All right. Okay. So let me tuck that back where it goes. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around uh, 
in a second because I have brand new paper to show you. But before we get there, I want to remind you that we're having a designer series paper sale right now. Um, there are nine different sets of designer series paper that are 15% off. And I'm going to use three of them today. We're going to use the You're a Peach. I keep calling it Sweet as a Peach, but it's You're a Peach. We're going to use that one. We're going to use the Sweet Symmetry and Hand Pinned. So you'll get to see those in action today. And um, it's a good time to get them, you know, when they're on sale. So I want to make sure I told you that. Um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. This is a program that I do with 11 other Stampin' Up! designers, demonstrators. We get together every month and we each design one tutorial based on one suite in the catalog. And this month it's the Expressions in Ink. Here is my tutorial that's in there. Um, it is free with anybody who spends $50 with me online, or you can buy it for $15 in my PDF store. The third option is a subscription. This is a different subscription than Club Create. This is just for those of you that like the PDF. You don't shop with me, maybe you're a demonstrator, maybe you have a demonstrator, but you want the PDFs because they are amazing. Um, you can subscribe only in the month of July and you will get the sixth month for free. Okay, so um, here are the suites that we're gonna be doing. This month is Expressions in Ink. August is Bloom Where You Are Planted. Love that one. September is the Peach Suite. October is gonna be something from the new mini catalog. November is Sweet Symmetry. And December is Hand Pinned. So be on the lookout for those. Um, you can, I upload the PDFs every month to my PDF store. They're always available there forever. But if you wanna subscribe, if you like them every month and you wanna get that six month free, you can only do that now in July. So scroll down today's blog post and there's a link to that, okay? And by the way, if you have subscribed and I, you didn't get an email from me, that means that it didn't arrive because I did email everybody who's already subscribed. I have heard from like five or six people who didn't get their email. They're welcome to the subscription email. So if that's you and you didn't get it and you don't have your PDF yet, let me know, email me. Some, I don't, I've told you guys this before, some email places just block me. Like they don't let my email address in at all. I don't know why, I don't know what to do about it. Even if I remove links, even if I'm replying back to you, sometimes it blocks. Sometimes I can find you guys on Facebook and I'll message you, but it's really frustrating on my end because it looks like I'm not responding to your emails. So if you ever think that that's happening, message me on Facebook, okay? But um, anyway, you should have that email from me if you are already subscribed as of this morning. I haven't checked my email since this morning. Um, so anyway, there's that, $15 a month, all right? Free with a $50 purchase. Subscribe and get the six month for free, okay? I'm not seeing any comments on my phone. Let me see. Um, Maria, what do you, paper pumpkin with my pretty pump, with a pretty pumpkin? I don't know, Maria, message me. I don't know what you're, what you're talking about there. Thanks, Laurie. She says she likes my earrings. You know, my ears are being really weird and earrings are hurting my ears so bad lately, all of a sudden, this one. So I don't know if I'll be able to wear it the whole time. Okay, <laughs> random tidbit. All right, let me put this up. I'm gonna flip you guys around. Turn you around because I'm going to show you the new designer series paper because I, I opened my paper and ribbon. There. So hold on just a second, let me get my camera situated and then I'm going to show you all this new paper. We have a new mini catalog coming out August 3rd. Let me turn that fan off. August 3rd. And every time a new catalog comes out, we do paper shares and ribbon shares. And I'm doing things a little bit different this time. Um, so I want you guys to make sure that you understand exactly what you're signing up for, okay? You can get, and I was gonna show you, let me grab, I have one old paper share. I wanted to show you what it looks like. I have, my paper shares come like this. I don't separate them into separate bags, just FYI. I send them to you like this. Um, you can either get a share that is 12 by six, or, so that would be, every, you're getting a fourth of a pack of all the papers, right? Or you can get, cut it in half, get six by six. 
Some of you just want six by six. Some people like to get double here because you're either scrapbooker or you just want more paper. So the first option, let's see, I printed it out. The first option is designer series paper only. In case you don't know, DSP stands for designer series paper. We call it pattern paper, right? That's the, the old word. Stampin' Up! has just coined the phrase designer series paper. And so these are the papers that are in the holiday catalog. I'm gonna flip through them quickly to show you. There are two six by six sets. This is a gingerbread set, okay? Paper, traditional colors, love it. Then you know me and my Halloween. Oh my gosh, look. You guys, I cannot wait to design Halloween. That'll be in September, you'll see my class to go. But anyway, September paper is six by six. And then we're back to the gingerbread paper, okay? So those two sets come six by six. So even if you buy 12 by six or six by six, these two will come six by six no matter what, okay? And then you might've seen this paper. Um, we got this in Hawaii as one of our pillow gifts. It has the little corgi on it, so cute. All right, so I'm gonna flip through this one. It's got some great little patterns on the back, more simple patterns. That one almost looks Halloween-ish to me. Stockings, and we have dyes to match. Very cute. Look at that, that looks like Pepper. So cute and grumpy cat. Um, yeah, the bats, Patricia, are so cute. Yep, Debbie, it looks like Millie, you're right. You are right. All right, so there is some more cute, just super cute. This is gonna be wildly, wildly popular for my Golden Retriever fans. Isn't he cute? All right, now here is the paper, and y'all are gonna have to forgive me because I don't know the names, but I did print out a paper. Let's see if I can figure out which ones are which. Painted Christmas, that's this one. And this is the one that I use for Club Create in August. So in your Club Create, August kit, you'll be getting half of a pack of this um, to use on your cards and you'll have lots left over to use for whatever you want. I love that pattern. All right, love the cats. Kimberly, it's so funny. I don't even see the cats. I only see the dogs. You're either a, cat, a dog person or a cat person, right? I mean, I guess you could be both. I think of my friend Anne Marie. She's probably both cat and dog person. Um, cute. I like cats. I don't mind cats. We just have allergies to cats at my house. So anyway, Painted Christmas, that's that. This one is beautiful. What is this one called? Harvest Meadow. This is more of like your fall paper, but it's kind of non-traditional colors. Calypso Coral. Mm, I don't know. Mint Macaron. Bumblebee. Uh, maybe Crumb Cake. I don't know. I'm just listing these off the top of my head. Don't quote me. Look at that, so pretty. Okay, so you'll get either six by 12 or six by six, whichever you prefer. There's this one, now this is specialty paper. Can you guys see the shimmer? Whimsy and Wonder, I think that's what this one is called. Look at those colors, you guys. Look, oh, so pretty. And then this one is pink also with some shimmer. Oh my gosh. I need to order a pack of just like 100 of these. You know I love it polished pink. We've got some kind of minty green um, trees, a really good basic pattern. These are awesome. You can just cut these apart and put them on your cards. More shimmer. Look at these. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love these. Look at the little deer. Whimsy and Wonder. Okay, now this one, was that right? Was that Whimsy and Wonder? Somebody will tell me if I'm wrong. Whimsy and Wonder, Sweet Stockings, Peaceful Place. I think this is Peaceful Place, right? And this one's more, oh, like just gray and white. Just, you, just like a calm, quiet snow meadow paper. And then look, oh, and the angels were singing, you guys. Don't you love it? My favorite. And then this one, this has some shimmer too, this paper. And then this, little trees. I don't know what kind of pattern you would call that. Maybe like a wood grain. It's got some sparkle or raindrops or something. Cabins. For those of you with cabins in the woods, you lucky people. Look at that. Wouldn't that make a beautiful background on a card? And then this one. Now that I show you all the paper. Halloween. Oh, heartwarming hugs also, which is coming back 
from, did I, I thought I had some in here. Heartwarming Hugs was in the holiday catalog last year. Heartwarming Hugs, Harvest Meadow, oh, Blackberry Beauty. I don't have that yet because it's not available yet. And that one is gorgeous. Uh, Peaceful Play, Sweet Stocking, Whimsy and Wonder, Paint of Christmas, Gingerbread Pedal. Okay, so that's all the designer series paper in the holiday catalog. So if you want just these, the six by six, where you would get like that, right? That is $26. And if you want me to cut your paper here and get six by 12, then that's $38. Okay, does that make sense? But wait, there's more. <laughs> the second option that I'm giving you is to add on the specialty papers. There's a bunch of specialty papers in this catalog. So this one is called Gold Shimmer. And I don't have all of them, okay? I don't, for some reason, I didn't do a very good job ordering. So you'll get some of that. Then the red and the gold foil. These are returning favorites. Um, the red velvet. The cork. I haven't even opened this and I've been so excited about this. Have you guys ever used cork in your paper crafting? Uh, Marie says, my, paper, my husband told me not to buy any more paper because I have enough. There's never enough paper. Never. <laughs> it could go around the house 10 times. That's funny. This is very thin. It. I have had cork before that was a like a layer of cork, but this is like the layer of paper. I mean, it's so thin, it'll die cut beautifully. Look at that. That'll be great for trees and all kinds of things. Then we've got some new silver foils, three different kinds in here. They're kind of like the brushed metallic, really pretty. Um, and then the ones that I don't have are the black glitter, which is a returning favorite, and the snowy white velvet sheets and craft paper. I'm so happy they're bringing craft paper back. So if you wanna add on the specialty papers to your designer series paper pack, you can do that. That'll be the second option. The six by six is 36 and the six by 12 is 54, okay? All of those will ship for $8 flat rate shipping. It's the cheapest way to go with heavy paper. It's got tracking, it's got insurance and all that, okay? Now, if you buy both, together, you're also going to get the celebration paper. And look, we have paper in the celebration catalog is absolutely the most adorable. The penguin, I've already started working on projects with this penguin set and I am madly, madly in love with it. So you'll get a share of that. Look how cute. Oh, so cute. The colors are great too. I think this coordinates great with the, oh, what's it called? The Whimsy and Wonder paper. Okay, and then there is, did I say this one? I don't know what this is called. Gold sequins, I don't know, it looks like mermaid or something, it's beautiful. There's that, and then there's this Christmas paper. There's, there's a lot of paper in the new celebration catalog that starts August 3rd also. There is a black and red check somewhere in here, right there. Oh, it's on the front, hello. Look, I love that one. All right, and, but wait, you know what I'm gonna say? There's more. This one's really interesting. These are um, like black and white patterns, okay? So you'll get some of that. All right, now, there's one other option. So you can get DSP only, DSP and specialty together. You can get them both six by 12 or six by six. Then there's the ribbon. And I see my friend Denise, my assistant Denise, she helps me greatly with the ribbon. Here are our new ribbons. We've got some kind of um, like, a, like a, a lace, they're calling it diamond weave. Ruffled red, which I already have some, love it. Pink, what color is this? Blushing Bride, yes. And then this cherry cobbler in gold, red sheer pool party. Look at that one. And yes, I almost cried when I won this in Hawaii. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then this is the white sparkle. And I thought it was going to be kind of thick, like our black sparkle. You know, that stuff's real stiff and hard to, to tie. But this is real soft. I like it a lot. And then gold. 
Um, I'm doing something different with the ribbon this time. Instead of one yard of each, you're gonna get two yards of each. Because I feel like one yard is just not enough to do much with. I was working with one yard of something the other day and it was like done in two projects. So I'm making it two yards of each of these. So the ribbon, I need to hurry up. The ribbon is $22 and it will ship for free if you get a paper share or add on $5 for the shipping. That covers the shipping and the envelope, okay? Um, so that's ribbon. So I'm already taking registrations for these. You have to email me for that registration link. Here are all the details. All right. Um, let me see what else I need to say. I don't know. All I can say is that the paper is amazing. I, I probably always say that, don't I? But this paper is really, really amazing. And here are the catalogs. I almost stapled them shut because I'm so, and I've done it before, started flipping through it on a live, and we're not allowed to do that. We can only show the fronts of the catalogs, and there they are. So mini catalog will go through August 3rd to the end of, I don't know, like the first, January 3rd, something like that. Celebration will only be August and September, okay? So celebration, there's paper in there, there are dyes in there, there's a couple of stamp sets, um, it's fabulous. It's fantastic. Yay. I love it so much. So more details on that coming as we get closer. Okay. All right. I think I got all that. I think we're almost there. We're ready to stamp. Today's projects are a little long, so I need to get a move on. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's see. So that doesn't fall. And I Facebook again is not showing any comments. Hello, hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. Um, celebration, uh, yes, is S-A-L-E, like sale, sale celebration. And it's um, August and September. And during that time, you get something free with every $50 you spend, which is awesome. It's our favorite time of the year. <laughs> you know, it really is. Okay, how about prizes? Let's do prizes. I chose two people from last week who shared the video, and I can't say either of your last names, so I'm just going to let you look at it. Anne and Bonnie, thank you for sharing my video. I chose these two names at random. If you will please message me your mailing address, I would love to send you this as a thank you. All right, congratulations, ladies. This week, I've got two bundles pampered pets this is an oldie but goodie this is so good and i thought it was going to be really good if you're going to get that pattern paper you guys the ups guy is here <laughs> and he i can hear him dropping boxes and boxes and boxes on the porch it's all my club create and my in color stuff's arriving today um so it's a lot of boxes hopefully he doesn't ring that doorbell i put a sign over there <sighs> we'll see the dogs will let us know won't they um, so anyways, these are the prizes for this week. So if you want to share the video um, on Facebook or on YouTube, I will enter your name into a drawing next week. It includes the dies. Okay? Okay. I think we are ready. If you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome, first of all. Thank you for joining me. I do this almost every Friday at two o'clock central. I pick a bundle or a stamp set and we do three projects with it. So this week we're doing the Turtle Friends bundle. It's a stamp and punch. The punch is on back order. I know, but you know what? I already had design projects and I was like, we're just gonna do it. You can still order it. It just won't come until, I don't know, like a month, you'll have to wait. But we're doing a lot of fussy cutting too. So you could pretty much make these projects while you're waiting for the punch. The punch, of course, makes it easier, but just FYI. Anyhow, if you like the make and takes today, if you want to get them for free, I will send them to anybody who puts in an online order between now and Monday at midnight using this week's host code. You can order anything you want. It doesn't have to be the Turtle Friends. Uh, maybe you already have Turtle Friends and you want the make and takes to go with it. Order whatever you want. Um, as long as the order is $35 or more and it uses this host code, I will send you the make and takes for free and they look just like this. All right, I send you a little thank you tag. You have to have the, the bundle, the ink, and the adhesive. I don't do any stamping, but I do do die cutting that needs to be done, okay? So be 
um, ready for that. If you want to get those, the deadline is Monday. Okay, we are cleared off. We're ready to stamp. Now, I will tell you that I, this is one of those sets. If I see it all over Pinterest and Facebook, I have a hard time coming up with something unique because all I can see in my head is what I've already seen. You guys know what I mean? Like I just, oh, I feel like, oh, I can only think about that super adorable card I saw and I can't think of any other ideas. So this one really took some like brain power <laughs> because I've seen a ton of projects out there with it. It is so, so cute. Um, the PDF, this PDF right here, by the way, is over at pinkbuckaroo.com and um, it is free. Download, it's under the third photo, you, you'll find it. There's a button, click it, you can have this for free. It has all the products that I used, or that I'm gonna use, as well as the measurements that you'll need. This one has a lot of measurements. Um, and then all of these things that I just talked to you about, the links are there as well, and the host code. All right, all right, let's see, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is watercolor. And we're gonna do that mirror imaging, right? Mirror stamping. And I want you to see that this, these two guys were the first ones that I did. And I came back and added more to him. Um, we're using pear pizzazz. And the ink had dried. And when I put it on there, it was a little more brown, which I found really interesting. So, you know, all colors are made up of other colors. Um, so I felt like because it dried, maybe the colors kind of separated a little bit. But I liked it. It was more of a brown green, even though it was the same exact ink I had used before. But anyhow, and then these are the ones I did for our video this week. Um, clean recording. They're all available on YouTube as a clean recording. So if you want to come back and watch them later without all the Facebook live interruptions, you'll be able to do that. Okay, so we're going to do mirror stamping, which is going to require you to get your stamparatus and your silicone mat. Um, you know, I went to add this into the uh, supply list last night and I could not find it in the catalog. You would think it'd be over there like with the stays on ink and the foam brushes, but no, it's on the adhesive page. I guess because you can squirt your adhesive on it and use it like that, but I use it for a lot of other things. So if you're looking for it in the catalog, it's on the adhesive page. All right, so we're going to stamp and you can see how I he's stained on here because we're using stays on um, because we're watercoloring. So I'm gonna get some watercolor paper and I'm just gonna stamp him first normally. Actually, we're gonna do it on the bottom of the page because when you put your punch in there, you need it to be at the bottom. If you stamp at the top, it's okay. Just cut your paper apart. But I'm, I always try to save my paper and kind of pre-plan where I need to stamp that. Okay, so we're gonna do stays on. And I've told you guys before, I do not like using stays on on my photopolymer stamps because it, it's, well, for one, it stains them, which isn't that big of a deal, but I feel like it, it kind of changes the texture of my stamp a little bit. So be careful um, when you use it, wipe it off real good when you're done, um, and just know that it's gonna stain. There is stays on cleaner, but I worry about using that on photopolymer. I, I don't wanna recommend using that because I don't know. I don't know, use at your own risk. But we're using stays on because we're watercoloring and it will, if we use memento, it will smear and this one will not. Okay, so I'm gonna ink it and I'm gonna stamp it and I'm gonna do it again because I'm finding this part is really light when I lay this on here. So I'm trying to get it as dark as I can. So I stamped it on the silicone sheet and I'm laying my watercolor piece here and I'm gonna rub it real good to make it transfer onto that paper. But before I move my paper, I'm gonna stamp again because for us to punch it out, we're gonna to need to have it facing this way. If he's facing the other way, we won't be able to punch him out. But we've stamped this on the background, on the back side, so that we can punch him. Now you'll notice, look how light he is. See that? And I did this numerous times to try different things to get him darker. Um, this one I thought turned out pretty good. So play around with your ink. I think if you ink that 
um, matte several times, it'll get darker. What I'm gonna do at the end is go back with my black um, marker and make that line darker. It looks kind of like no line stamping if you've ever done that. No line stamping is a technique where the line kind of blurs away and it's just kind of a loose watercolor. But that wasn't really what I was going for because this one is a hard black line and this one's soft. But it'll work, I promise. Okay, I have an ink pad without a top. Let's make sure we get that on there. Okay, so you're gonna need, you guys, I can hear my kids screaming in there. What part of, uh, what part of be quiet, mom's doing Facebook Live, do they not understand? They're teenagers, they should know. Ugh. Okay, so a paper towel, a water painter, and I'm gonna get my water painter really wet, and I'm gonna come over here and put like a little puddle of water inside his shell, okay? And I want it pretty wet, pretty wet. The dogs, I don't know why they're barking. When you do this, the water will magically stay in your lines. I don't know why it does that, but it does. You create that little puddle and it creates a barrier um, so that it's not gonna go past those, your black lines. So now I'm just grabbing pear pizzazz ink that I put on my clear block and I'm dropping it here at the bottom. See how it goes up? I want it to be really dark down here at the bottom and really light at the top. So I'm just gonna kind of push that up and continue to add dark, 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 dark down here. Okay, push, push. I love the way this reacts with the water. It just kind of, just, I don't know. It's really fun. It's kind of mesmerizing. All right, so I'm gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna dry my brush off just a bit. My little palette here is still pretty wet. Um, and now for his, the rest of him, I'm just gonna use, you know, a wet brush, but not, I'm not puddling that water like I did on his shell. This is a little skinnier, so it'd be a little more difficult, I think, to do that. So we're just gonna color him in. That, what I just did on his shell is also gonna create quite a bit of texture on his shell. I can see lots of comments scrolling by, but if I take my eyes off of this, it's gonna be a big mess. So let me do this and then I'll go back and see what you guys are saying. I'm using the smallest water painter, okay? Um, just, I feel like, you know, you have more control. And then I'm gonna put some extra color right there. Well, he's pretty wet down here on his little toenails. I think I'm gonna add some more. As this dries, you can come back and continue to add color, okay? Boy, they are gonna get it when I am off. They're gonna hear it from mama. Why, why are you screaming? <laughs> oh, I had to take my little one to get her, her vaccination today and sh she was a disaster. <sighs> She's like a toddler when she has to get a shot. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Whoops, I just made a mess with my water. I'm just gonna go kind of fast because you saw me do it. A little puddle. Get your ink, and this time, the second time, my water's already green because I, you know, I've been painting, so the top's gonna be much lighter because I don't really have to put a whole lot of ink up there. Okay, now we'll come down here. If you wanted your lines to match, so this one's really light, and the original one, this guy, is really dark, sharp, image. Usually that's what we want, right? What you could do so that he's light, his black lines are light also, you could stamp off before you stamp him. Okay. And then um, he will have a light black line as well. All right. Now this guy doesn't look so hot right now, but once they dry which I'm not sure they're gonna be dry by the time we're done, so we may have to use one of my other ones that I have ready. Okay, so there. He needs more color. 
Let me get a little more ink. He definitely needs more color. And he's got so much water down on his legs. So I'm gonna have to be careful when I move him. I wonder if you guys can hear the rain. I can hear it. It's like, must be dripping on something on the porch. It's very loud. Okay. Blend that up. Okay. So we're gonna move this off. Yesterday when I made the clean recording video, I set something on top of it <laughs> while I was working and then I came back to it and it was like smeared all across the page. <sighs> of course. Okay, let's see. Did I miss anything important? Um, Chrissy, practicing watercoloring. You know what? I was not good either. And, and I will tell you, not every one that I do is very good. Um, but practicing. So if you stamp like eight turtles on your page and just practiced, um, you will be amazed at how quickly you get really good at it. Okay, so let's do the rest of the card. I need to get my grid paper. We're going to add some, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I added some masked ink back here on the, the um, card base. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my handy dandy post-it tape. And I'm gonna use the lines on my grid paper to make sure that my card is straight. Okay, we'll put that down. And then I am using this mask. This is one of our new masks. It's called Plenty of Patterns, right? I think that's what it's called. We're gonna tape that down. And then we're gonna grab our blending brush and flirty flamingo. Now you don't have to do too much because you're, you're not even gonna see very much of it. I just wanted it around the edges. So we're gonna go around the edges. Round and round. So next week, you guys, there won't be a Facebook Live. I will be, I'm going to Waco and Houston this week. Um, so I had thought maybe I could get something done and have something pre-recorded. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But stay tuned. There will be some kind of something for you guys if you're putting in an order next week. I'm not sure exactly what it'll be, but it'll be something. All right, now for the inside, I am just going to do, I didn't need to close that, a little bit of this in the corners as well. So kind of like diagonal, diagonal, diagonal and diagonal. We have new masks in the holiday catalog too. I love masks. I've been using them a ton. Okay, so see how I did that? Now I'm gonna get the little hearts and these little hearts are from this stamp set. And I'm just gonna add a couple or three or four, okay, with Flirty Flamingo. So that's the inside of our card. Now, Let's move this grid paper out of the way so we don't have to look at it. Now, we're gonna use some designer series paper. And I decided, I challenged myself to use designer series paper that is on sale on every project this week so that you could see exactly what's on sale. This is the Your Peach designer series paper, see? But we're not using it with the peaches. We're using this balmy blue polka dot background. And we're gonna put this on here on a white mat. And then here's another piece of it. Um, for the measurements, just make sure you get that PDF. It's on the measure, I mean on the PDF free on my blog. All right, now let's stamp. You are totally loved. Stamina has been really clever with their sayings lately. Well, that didn't do well. Let's try that again. That's why cardstock has two sides. You have two chances to get it right. All right. Now we're going to use the message die. Let me clean up a little bit, get everything out of the way. And we'll scooch over our cut and emboss machine and we're gonna use let's see I think we use this one way here up here at the top or at the bottom depending on which way you have your die okay and 
my plates are warped and bent. So I'm worried that that's gonna slide around. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna tape it all down with my post-it tape. Ah, comments are not loading. You can hear, but the video is freezing. Is that is that happening to anybody else? It could it could possibly mean that my kids are home and they're on the internet. I don't think so, but maybe. Okay. Now I can tell this guy is not dry at all. But I really wanted to show you how I outline it. So Normally I would let him completely dry, right? But right now I'm just gonna make him dry and we'll use a different one on this card. To make him have that black line like the other guy, I'm just taking my Stampin' Right marker and outlining him and it actually worked really well. I was really impressed with how well it looked. So you can look at my sample on my blog post and see. So if you trust your steady hand, just do that. Okay, so you'll go all the way around and do that. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna move on. I'm gonna use one of these guys. See, I outlined him. And we're gonna punch him. Oh, mm, you can't punch him, because look, I can't tell which one it is. Okay, let's see, do I have another one over here? Yeah, we'll use this guy right here. So you stamped it on the back, remember? After you stamped, after you did the mirror, you laid it back down so that you could do this. Okay, there's the back and there's the front. And then we'll punch this guy out too. So you can see I was practicing too, my watercoloring. All right, so we've got two little turtles ready to go. Audio is okay for you, Michelle. All right, let's grab that little pink heart again that's buried under everything. And I'm gonna, I've cut out a vellum stitched so sweetly rectangle. And I'm gonna stamp these hearts right here on the vellum. Now, you gotta be careful because this is a, what do they call it, non-porous surface. So that ink's gonna smear. So either hit it with your heat tool or give it, you know, some time to dry, that flirty flamingo ink. And we're gonna put these two guys saying hello. And then I have, oh, I didn't do them high enough. We gotta do a little bit high. Woo, almost smeared it. We gotta leave room for our sentiment. So let's go a little bit higher. And I cut out a stitched flirty flamingo heart. This is from the Give It A World dies. Hi, Carol, welcome. Huh, Chrissy, yours is freezing too. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if the weather has anything to do with it. We're having pretty bad weather right now. Well, if, if it's really bad, the recording hopefully will upload clean. Although I've been having trouble with that too lately. You are turtly loved. Now I'm gonna put the dimensionals on the back of this matching where those dimensionals are so you can't see them through that vellum, okay? And we're gonna put that right in the center. Don't those colors look good together? You know, if you have a color that you wanna use, say, Flirty Flamingo, you can go to Pinterest or even Google and say, um, Flirty Flamingo color combinations, and tons of stuff will come up. There's a lot of people out there that make these little charts um, that will show you or even challenge blogs where they have done some colors together where they go together So sometimes that's what I do to come up with some ideas. All right, there we go. We have our cute little turtles What do you guys think? I love this card. Aww. I Love that designer series paper, too. That's my favorite of that whole pack the blues All right Card number one is done. Let me clean up and we'll move on to card number two which features some of my most favorite paper in the new pack or in the annual catalog. 
All right, let's get all of this out of the way. Pink and green, I love pink and green together. I've told you guys before that when I moved into my apartment in college, it came furnished already and it was all pink and green. And at the time I was like, ugh, gross. And now I love it. It grew on me. I lived there for three years and now I love it. <laughs> it's funny how it changes, right? All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a fun fold. Thanks you guys, I'm glad you like it. This is a pretty simple fun fold. We're gonna do some stacking turtles, but it opens like that. And I didn't put anything in here, but you could. You could stamp one of those little turtles in here too. Happy belated birthday. Sorry I was slow. All right, so let's get started. Now, this is the one that I told you over on the PDF has lots of measurements. All of those pieces are here, okay? So if you wanna make this, make sure you go grab that. And I know there's fussy cutting here. My fussy cutting friends, I'm sorry. But what you could do, I'll show you what you could do. All right, let's make the card base first. We've got a Just Jade card base, right? Which opens to the side and I cut off that much. So this piece is actually eight inches and I scored it at five and a half. Okay, so that's our background. Let's see, I've hidden my adhesive here. We're gonna put a piece of our Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. You guys, this paper is gorgeous. I meant to pull it out just to show you how gorgeous it is. And I'll just real quickly show you. Look, look at the, these patterns. They are so cute. And yes, I, I'm gonna do something with this suite. I am, probably after the holidays. Look how pretty. Look at that, look at those two together or those two together, or those two together. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Sweet Symmetry, you don't have to use a Sweet Symmetry stamp set to use this paper. You can use all kinds of things. I was even thinking um, our stitch flowers that carried over from the spring catalog would be pretty with this paper. Okay, so we've got that piece there. This is a Just Jade background. Denise, you're making Christmas cards when it's 104. Ugh. It's very hard for me to get into Christmas when it's hot outside. Then we got another piece on the front. Now this piece is going to be our little piece that opens up. So I'm going to put, and what this is, is just like a little mini card. And I'm going to center it right here in the middle. Make sure that that's straight. Okay. And then we have got a Flirty Flamingo mat that goes right there. Okay, so we've got our card put together. I'm gonna stop here so that we can put all of our turtles on here. We are going to, let me show you, we're gonna do one turtle, this is the one with the punch, but then we're gonna paper piece these turtles together because they have pink shells, you know, like any turtle would have pink shells, <laughs> right? I mean, it's cute. And we're gonna make their shells that beautiful piece that is from the Sweet Symmetry um, paper. So just jade cardstock, just jade ink, stamp your turtle at the bottom of your paper. Then there is this cute stamp that has the texture of the shell. Yes, you're right, it is nice to be ahead of the holiday. I totally agree with you. Because once December comes, there's no time to make cards, right? There's no time. Ooh, that didn't do well because I was, was not paying attention. Let's do that again. Once December comes, forget it. There's, I don't have time to make cards. So you got, I've got to get them done um, before the holidays. Okay, I wanna show you guys something that I meant to point out. This photopolymer stamp is really shallow. So if you, push real hard on your ink, which is what I did because I was talking. The ink is gonna get up inside between those little shell things, those segments, shell things, I don't know what they're called. And so if you push real lightly on your ink pad, you're not gonna get those little dots of ink. See right there? Uh, because I wasn't paying attention. All right, so there's that. Then we've got the two babies and they're facing different directions. So one there, and we'll do one there. Then over on our pink paper, 
Uh, Brandy, yeah, once fall comes, which seems like after 4th of July, haven't we already started? Like, back to school, everybody, back to school. I don't need to stamp that again. And then it's immediately, it's Halloween, and then immediately it's Christmas. It comes fast. All right, and then I've got a little scrap of white. Uh, nope, I don't want that in, in just J. Good thing I got my chamois. I want that in Memento, which I do not have. Let's grab it. This is a little party hat, and it's so cute. Okay. So now we're going to color just two of these little stripes with Flirty Flamingo. Okay. And for, we can punch, how about we close that? We can punch our big turtle out. Um, I always try to make sure his nose is lined up and his tail is lined up. And if you do that, then you'll get him pretty good. You'll punch him good. Now, I know, I can hear you groaning already. But these, these two guys, the just the shells, and these two guys, and the hat, you have to use your scissors to cut them out. It's worth it, so just do it. <laughs> that was my serious talk for all of you non-fussy cutters. However, I already did it ahead of time. Um, if you didn't want to do that, what I was thinking is you could just stamp your turtles here, color them in with your Stampin' Blends, and then no fussy cutting, right? So that you could step it down and make it a whole lot easier, especially if you're gonna make a bunch of them. So stamp it in just jade, color it in with blends, color the turtle or the um, shell with flirty flamingo, and it would be just as cute. And nobody would be the wiser. But I did it ahead of time. I got it done, and I'm gonna put dimensionals for their shells. Mom voice, yep, Denise, did you recognize it? That was the mom voice. Although my mom voice might not be that nice. <laughs> you should have seen my daughter act like a baby today when she had to get her shot. Actually, she did better today. <sighs> I thought we were gonna have to restrain her yesterday when we went. We went to the wrong place yesterday, so she didn't get it. And I thought I was gonna have to hold her down. But she was very brave today. Very, very brave. All right, little hat. Now. We're gonna put these on. We're gonna use this stamp that, um, where's my tape, right here. It says, happy belated birthday, and then parentheses, sorry I was slow. And we're gonna stamp them separately. But you're going, are you okay? You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm good. Love okay, you. love you, be careful. Um, I'm gonna use my post-it tape to tape off the bottom section right there, all right? So, and then look at it, you can see that you've masked everything off and then we're gonna use flirty flamingo which i think i put back over here because i didn't think we were using it again and we're gonna ink and then peel off your tape don't forget and then i'm gonna pull this down so i can see exactly what i'm doing happy belated birthday all right then clean it and we're gonna mask it again, except this time we're gonna mask the top part. And we're gonna stamp the other part in our craft ink. Um, if you didn't wanna do this, cause this is quite a few steps here, then just boop, stamp the whole thing in Flirty Flamingo. Again, there's always ways to simplify, right? All right, so let's get this nice and white. Yeah, I'm having trouble with my ink pad. And I even re-inked it. There we go. I got it. Okay. White's very juicy. Let's see how we look. Sorry, I was slow. Perfect. Oh, very nice. All right. Let's get some white embossing powder. Um, Cindy, so funny. She says, the other day I masked a stamp, forgot to remove the sticky note. I always say, don't forget to remove the sticky note. People are always like, well, duh until you forget, right? It's so easy to forget to remove the post-it note. I've done it more times than I want to admit. 
Now you can see that from our last little stamp, we've got a little bit of that there. And it would actually be fine because we're gonna cut this out and that would be cut off. But I'm just gonna use a paintbrush to knock it all off. Okay. I'm glad that you are that you are admitting it, Cindy. <laughs> it's funny to admit our mistakes, right? If we can't laugh, then all we can do is cry. Yeah, it's real funny when that happens because you're like, uh, what did I just do? Hello, take off the sticky note. I've done it many a time. All right, so I'm heating this up, white embossing powder. I guess maybe my ink pad just needed to be re-inked. It is better. The ink doesn't soak down very much because it's um, real thick. So you have to kind of keep up with re-inking that white, that white ink pad. All right, so let's bring back over the message die. Have y'all noticed how much I love the message die? It's awesome. I didn't think I would like it because they're all connected and uh, I want them to be disconnected, but guess what? It doesn't matter, I still love it. All right, we're gonna use this one right here, okay? So let me put that down. I flipped my plate over, I think we're okay. I think we'll stay in place. Fingers crossed, because if we have to redo that, I'm not gonna be happy. Hi, Ethel from Phoenix. I love Arizona, one of my favorite plus Look what happened. Look. Oh, okay, good. It bounced off after it went through and that scared me because I had just said, if we have to redo this, whew, that was a close one. That's why I like to tape things down. That happens to me a lot. My dies bounce around. I'm just showing you guys what could happen, right? I, I make mistakes on, on purpose to help you not to make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, right, I know, I'm just joking. Okay, where are my many dimensionals? Here they are. So we're going to put many dimensionals under this guy. And right here, isn't that cute? I mean, that is an extra step, an extra couple of steps, but I think it's worth it. All right, where did all my turtles go? They're all gone, they all ran away. They're here somewhere. Oh my gosh, oh, here they are. Oh, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> they were stuck under my cut and emboss machine. Terry, good, I'm glad I could help, yes, so helpful. Keeping you guys from making your own mistakes. All right, so there's mama. And you know what? I'm gonna do the two babies flat since we already have one dimensional on there. I feel like that would be just a little bit too much for these tiny guys. One thing, I tried to stamp these stacked and I didn't get them lined up very well. That's why I did it this way. But you know, we have a tool just for that called the Stamparatus. So if you want to stamp them stacked up, just pull out your Stamparatus, so much easier. I don't even know why I tried to do it without it. How cute. All right, so let's come back over here and put this down. This, put, this paper is so sweet, so sweet. All right, and we've got one more little fancy step. We're gonna grab this Just Jade ribbon just jade and gold ribbon it's very pretty i'm going to fold it in half and we're going to put it right in between here so i'm going to kind of peel up just a little bit that flirty flamingo and make sure i got glue on both sides of that paper keep it folded Let's see if i can do this and put it under there and press down Okay, so that you have that little tab to lift it. And, but wait, there's more. One more tiny little bow. This is for somebody really special, this card. It has lots of weight, but there's more, right? And especially if you've forgotten their birthday. I mean, I'd almost forget their birthday on purpose so that you could send this super cute card. And be like, oh, 
I guess I'll have to use that belated birthday. And put that, this has got tape stuck to it and I don't know if I can pull it off. There we go. And put that right there. Now I had one more piece I forgot to put on the inside. I think this is my favorite. I don't know, I say that every time, don't I? So cute. There you go. Look, now I can forget three people's birthdays. What do you guys think? A little over the top, but pretty cute. Pretty darn cute. And you know, change the saying. If you're good and you don't forget birthdays, because some of you are really good, then just change the saying. Forever Friends is cute. Use a different stamp set, whatever. Take off the party hat and you've got an all occasion card. <laughs> okay, we have reached the end of card number two. We've got one more project. So let me just clean up and make sure I get everything off of this tray that I need. Nope, oh, I gotta keep those out. Okay, one more. And of course, it's a 3D. And of course, some of you already know what is in this box. There is one candy called Turtles, and you can find them at Walmart. Okay, so let me show you. Here's the little box made just the right size for our little caramel turtles. Let's see. I went to Walmart and I went to the candy aisle and there was a giant bag of turtles that was 10 bucks and I, or maybe even more. It was really expensive. And I was like, I asked, there was a girl stocking. I said, do you guys have these in a smaller package? And she, you know, beep, beep, boop, boop on her little thing. And she said, oh, up by the register. So I went up by the register and look, a dollar, much cheaper. All right, so Walmart up at the register. was. I actually found these in the self-checkout section. Um, but I'm sure they're at the other sections too. Okay, so let's make the box. This is pretty easy. This, this is probably the easiest of our projects today. You're gonna need your Simply Scored. I'm using So Saffron cardstock. And let me look at my notes. Thanks, Deborah. I'm glad you like them. All right, this is So Saffron, eight and three fourths by six. We're gonna score, let's do the long side first, three fourths of an inch, seven and a half, eight and a fourth. Then turn it and score the short side at half an inch, one and a fourth, three and a fourth, and four inches. All right, now let's get our bone folder and we're gonna make all these lines nice and crisp. Um, week after next, I told you guys I was going to do Peekaboo Farm, but then I ended up not even owning that stamp set. So I got it this week, but I went ahead and started working on the next set of projects, which is going to be, um, what's it called? The little scale, you know, the other baking set. So I've got those projects made. If I can get the Peekaboo Farm projects made, I may, may, maybe... But probably not have projects recorded i'm going to be gone monday tuesday and wednesday up at my daughter's college and then i'll be home thursday and only half a day friday so it's probably not going to happen you guys okay let me tell you what i'm doing here's your piece the side that has these two score lines that's the top the side that has the one score line that's the bottom so we're going to cut these apart Okay, and then the square here, we're gonna cut those, making, cutting off the corners. This one we're completely cutting off. And then I'm gonna cut that at an angle. Over here, we're gonna cut these two off right here. And then we're gonna cut that. Okay, now for our lid, this is gonna be, these three are gonna be our lid. So these two right here, we're gonna completely cut off. I'm gonna set this down in a second so you can see exactly what I did. I can hear Pepper crying. I think the girls have blocked her out. She can't come in here and she's very upset. Now these two we're cutting off. <laughs> she's talking, that's my dog, she's talking. Okay, and then we wanna cut these this way 
from the end. And last but not least, we want these to match this. So I'm gonna snip, I'm just gonna snip it in half. Okay, and I don't like the way that looks. So let me straighten that up. I didn't cut that very straight. There we go. Okay, so let me lay it down. That's what it looks like. If you're watching in the replay, you can pause it and see exactly what I did. Here are the two segments. I actually, when we scored it, I think it was like this, wasn't it? Three fourths, yeah. So when we scored it, that was the three fourths and then the seven, half, and eight and a fourth. All right? Okay, so now let's see, I'm gonna get tear and tape. Um, yes, Christine, I will send those those shares out in an email in the next few days for sure. All right, tear and tape on that long strip. Oh, I can't get this off. Come on. There we go. And then if you fold this over in half, it should line up perfectly. See that? Now we'll fold up these ends and the front, well, I don't know, whichever way you want to be the front, we're gonna fold that one in last. All right, I've got a little bit of that left. Boy, it is getting toasty in here. Toasty, toasty, even though it's only like 78 degrees outside. These lights are hot. Okay, so there is our, our box. Let's get our turtles. Put them in and close up our box. Oh, another thing right here, if you have trouble getting this tucked in, I usually do this. Cut those corners or round them with a corner rounder and they'll go in perfectly. All right, so now I'm gonna put a piece of designer series paper. This is the third set of paper I'm using that's on sale. This is the hand pen designer series paper. If you like soft, subtle colors, you will like this pack of paper. So I'm gonna put this piece right there. And um, I'm gonna use just jade ribbon. And in a minute, I'm gonna stamp my turtle in um, pear pizzazz. I don't know why I didn't do them the same color, but just jade gingham ribbon, I, I feel like could pass pretty much with any green because with it, the white checks, it just looks soft and subtle. It doesn't look bright like our jade color looks. But if it bothers you, then just stamp your turtle in jade. Okay, so there we've got that. Now for our turtle, where did the rest of my pieces go? They're right here. We are gonna stamp him in pear pizzazz. I've gotta clean my stamps. Pear pizzazz is a nice, soft green. Hi, Kathy, how are you? All right, so pear pizzazz, that didn't do very well. Let's do it again. Pear pizzazz ink on pear pizzazz cardstock. The Textured shell, uh, did it do it? Yep, see, I'm not thinking, I pushed too hard. Just a light tap, 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 light. All right, and push down. Now we'll punch it out. <gasps> Whoops, pretend like you didn't hear that. You just knocked something off the back of my table. My little vacuum. All right, now I wanted him on like a little water, like a little lake or pond, so I pulled out these. Have you guys used these yet? These are the layering diorama dies. And when I first saw them, I was like, huh, those are interesting. And now I've seen all these people using them and they are so cool. I'm just using them to kind of make this pond, but people are making diorama cards. Whoa, um, and they are awesome. So if you haven't checked these dies out, if you have missed them, because they're one of those that don't have a stamp set that go with it, so you might have missed it in the back of the catalog, they're really cool. So I'm gonna cut them out of balmy blue. I'm gonna use these a lot, I'm sure. And the two that I used are the second and third smallest. 
in case you, I always have trouble getting them back on here matching. There we go, in case you are gonna make this. Now, another blending brush and, and, and balmy blue cardstock. I don't know where it is, hold on. Oh, there it is. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. And I'm just gonna very lightly blend the edges of this, give it a little more dimension. College orientation, you guys. It gets here before you know it. I swear she was drinking strawberry milk out of a sippy cup yesterday. And here we are going to college orientation this week. I don't know how it happens so fast. It's crazy. Those of you with kids in college or older kids, I know you know what I'm saying. It's just bizarre. Forever Friends on a white strip um, pear pizzazz. And I'm gonna use my tailored tag punch to make it a flag. The really weird part is that she's going to my alma mater. So now I have to buy shirts that say Baylor mom <laughs> instead of, you know, Baylor alumni. I mean, I don't have to, but you know what I'm saying? Like now I'm a Baylor mom and not just a Baylor alumni. That just feels weird. I feel like I just graduated from college like a year ago. It's been like 20 something years. It's crazy. <sighs> All right, dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. Too fast, right, Yvonne? Too fast. What do they say? The days are long, but the years are short. God, that is so true. Another of those little stitched hearts from um, the Give It a Whirl die. That Give It a Whirl die has got some great little little dies in it. The hearts and the um, the clouds. I've been using a lot. All right, I'm gonna stick this back behind him like that flat with glue. All right, and then last but not least, see, I told you this was the easiest project of the day. Usually the 3D isn't the easiest, but I think it is. And that would be cute on a card, right? What if you just did this on a card? Did a yellow, a so saffron card base with that paper. Those colors look good together too, right? So cute. All right, there you have it. Three Turtle Friends projects. What do you guys think? Did I do okay? I was stressing. I wanted them to be really good. This is one of those that I almost had a hard time starting because I just wanted them to be perfect. All right, so if you like these make and takes and you want them free in the mail, and by the way, usually I mail those on Wednesday, right? I cut them on Tuesday, mail them on Wednesday. But this week I'll be out of town Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that means the earliest they will go in the mail is probably Friday. So if you get these, a lot of you will buy these almost every week and you know what day they're going to come. They'll be late this time just because of my schedule. But they will go out next week by the end of the week. You'll get the make and takes for each of these if you put in an order, $35 minimum by Friday. I mean, by Monday at midnight, um, and here's the host code. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get uh, free stamp and rewards yourself, and I will still send you the make and takes. If your order is over $50, you're also going to get that all-star tutorial PDF for free. Um, now, I have a fourth project for you that I'll show you on Monday. This was my team birthday cards. Look, pink and green again. I couldn't decide if I liked um, soft succulent or just jade better. I think I ended up going with just jade. I like the bright, but that I'll have details on this card on Monday on my blog. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Remember, I will not be live next Friday, um, but hopefully I will have some new stuff for you throughout the week. And then I will be back on, what's that date? The 23rd with measure of love that's what it's called measure of love and then i'm out of town the next week uh, i know july is crazy so only two lives this month sorry sorry guys july is always like that <laughs> you guys have a great week and i will be back in two weeks thanks everybody bye